Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Guatemala, Lake Atitlan. It's really like paradise here, especially this campsite, Casa de Pierre. It's a French guy named Pierre that owns it, and he's been renting to Overlanders for 10 years. Yeah, they have this nice little grass spot for us, the nomadic movement. We have two new friends down here, and then you guys already know Miguel and Marain. Everywhere we've been to in Guatemala so far is extremely hilly, and this compound is built right into the side of a mountain, which is really cool. They've found some like pretty relatively flat spots for campers to park, but it also makes for just a really cool layout in general. So there's camping spots, there's like barbecue spots, and now we're gonna walk you down this beautiful little stone stairwell and show you what's on the other side. Child, I know you're hurt and you can't let go. It's not your fault, and you don't deserve all the bad in the hurt. So, these doors here, there's one on every entrance, and they have dual deadbolt locks, which means you have to lock them twice. It is very, very secure in these locations. It's really interesting that there's probably 20 people staying here on this property right now, and the property's not that big, mm -hmm. but you never have a problem finding a quiet little place of solitude yeah. where you can relax and enjoy the environment. So you might be asking yourself, why are we here? We normally camp on the street, in cities, in parks, and it's never really a problem. And as we've been traveling further into Guatemala, we've realized that there is a need to park in campgrounds. The normal places that we've found to spend the night in places like Mexico just don't really exist in Guatemala. So for a couple extra bucks each night, we just go to one of these compounds where it's guarded, they have people that stay overnight, it's got a, a wall with barbed wire so that nobody can get in to mess with you. It just gives you that little extra peace of mind and who wouldn't pay a couple of bucks to stay in a place like this? It's true. And one thing about Guatemala is that it is absolutely breathtaking mm -hmm. it's beautiful everywhere here is so much more wild yeah. than mexico we've enjoyed the wild beauty here but we also want to stay safe because safety is number one on our journey and we still think that it's absolutely amazing yeah it has been raining pretty much every single day but it still gets really hot when it gets really hot we head to this next spot right here so this is miguel we're starting our first youtube video <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna jump. Come around, you you watch and Frank, you stay here. In the water. Should we give us acid? No, 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 no. They're trying to make you do a backflip. No, do but he's gonna teach us it. how to do it. Put it in the box. Yeah. You can literally just fall. Oh, oh my god. Come on, Miguel. Uh, I can try to do a front flip. Ah. Uh. <laughs> the water's like a little bit crisp, but it feels really good. And then you get out and the sun warms you up. It's really nice. Did Frank have fun? Oh boy, did you do a lot of swimming? Good boy, Frank. Oh boy. We're all dried off and now we are actually making our way into town. All four couples, so there's gonna be eight of us. Yeah. We're all gonna walk into San Marcos, which is an awesome little hippie town. We're gonna get some supplies to make dinner. Dinner's gonna be extremely interesting tonight, what? something I've never done. One of the great things about all eight of us hanging out together is that you have so many more creative minds for making delicious meals. Tonight we're having a feast. And so many different hands, yeah. so it's not so much work. Yeah, it's true. Maybe hit a cafe. Mm. We'll see. So while we're 
we're here shopping for ingredients to make this delicious feast of a dinner. We are also pretty hungry, so we're stopping at this beautiful vegan garden, getting ourselves a nice little Indian vegan lunch. We definitely had to stop and get some food before we go shopping or else everybody's eyes would be way bigger than their stomachs and we'd end up buying way too much food and not even be able to eat it all. Hopefully this satiates our appetite and then we can go get the ingredients for our dinner. I had the tacos with coconut sauce and many veggies and I don't remember the name of the thing like tofu. Tempeh. <gasps> Tempeh First is time good. I tried it. Oh. So good. Delicious. Are you surprised that Miguel immediately wants to get ice cream? No. No? This is normal. <laughs> Every time he sees an ice cream store, we have to get We have to go. One. So yeah. we just finished eating and now we're gonna get ice cream. Do you go be able to find bacon here? Because on the boat. Bacon I would love to have if we find bacon. Really have BLT pizza? <laughs> Uh, and then we end up with Alfredo. Us, we do uh, carbonara. Yeah, paper, so. We're trying to decide on <laughs> what toppings we want to have on Bacon, pizza. Cream. Goat cheese, red pepper, and garlic. Yeah. Maybe uh, mushrooms? Is that weird? Honey, but we have I'm for, honey. I'm for mushrooms. Honey and mushrooms? Oh, it's good. Which one do you got? Goat cheese or what? Yeah. Honey That's and mushrooms? Pizza. We're getting into weird it's pizzas like now. One good thing about meeting up with these guys right here is that they are also excited about our next activity. We've eaten today, we're about to eat some more. We went swimming this morning, but that was just like for fun. And I'm excited that these guys are excited that we are about to do some yoga. We're yogied, we're yogified. I don't know what's next, but I'm ready for it. Feeling great. Now I think we're just gonna kind of sit and enjoy the rain and prepare to make pizza. What's going on over here? I'm just so emotional with these onions right now, but I think we are doing a veggie, mushroom, red pepper, onion, garlic, Alfredo sauce. I think it's like a honey goat cheese pizza. That sounds terrible, all those things you just listed really? together. No. Maybe it's good. I think it's gonna be delicious. I think everyone's in charge of two pizzas and then we're all gonna eat them together. So, welcome to the shrimp van. <laughs> welcome to the shrimp van. But, Miguel uh, just spent shrimp. the last hour de-pooping and de-heading the shrimp. Ooh, look at those shrimp. But I didn't boil them. Trent wanted I boil them, but you I didn't do it. It's really tasty. I yeah. said boil the shrimp so that you know they're all the way cooked and then season them, but no one wanted to listen to me, so Holy. they are. They're pan frying these shrimp and they look absolutely delicious. We might get really sick, but they're gonna be tasty. <laughs> Is it recording? Uh-huh. Oh. Is it recording? Hello guys. So here we're having some Chilean wine. Really good, tasty. How's it going, Marine? I'm almost done. I'm oh, done. that's awesome. Miguel practicing for our YouTube channel, guys. <laughs> How's it going, Trent? <laughs> it's going really well. I just came to get the wine from Miguel and Marlene, and now I'm going over to the fire where we're going to be making the pizzas. We got Mauricio over here. Oh, yes. And he is making the pizza dough. Look at that. This is dough. Van made pizza dough. Yeah. Been slaving away all day. This is going to be nice. <laughs> look at the fire, man. Oh, my gosh. Fire roasted pizza made fresh out of all of our vans we're gonna have four different types of pizza there's eight people eight pizzas i'm super excited so we have french chilean and then we have what are you guys swiss 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 swiss, <laughs> swiss, swiss. 
French Chilean and Swiss Swiss and we're talking about all the taboo things that you can't talk about in each of our cultures and all the ways that van life is different in each of our cultures and now we're talking about something that is similar for all of us which is what happens when you get mice in your van something that I hope never happens to us but it seems to happen to a lot of people so what did you do Anel? We had a trap with, with pe peanut butter. A peanut butter trap? Yeah, we had to give them the peanut butter, oh. even if it was hard. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they loved it and then... Oh! Yeah. oh. Three times. Three <laughs> times! Three friendly mice. Three blind mice. <laughs> so if you're a mouse, don't go anywhere near Mauricio and NL's man because you don't get the peanut butter. <laughs> but I think we're about to start whipping up some pizzas. Jordan is professing his ability to creatively, what is it called? Ah, throw? Throw, throw some to dough? Throw. He, can, he can slang some dough. <laughs> yeah, buddy. He's about to it. show us what's up. Don't and, be nervous, uh, man. Sorry. I'm really nervous. You gotta get you have to have a lot of flour. And then you hold it with one hand and you pull it with the other. Miguel does not look impressed. And you just keep going around. You can, you can like toss it like that. Let's go. Alright, let's see what you got. Yeah, what you let's got? Go, Miguel. Let's go, Miguel. Approved. Grazie mille, grazie mille. Okay, a little flour. Huh. Okay, ah. a little bit on your face. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Just make it flat. Make it flat, okay. No, just the dough. You can punch it. You can punch it? You can spin yes. it. Okay. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I want to. Okay, maybe like this a little bit. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh. Oh. You don't want to do too much flour, though, right? You don't want too much flour. <laughs> 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 The top oh one. my god! Wow, oh, you Girls, have been you taking so... classes already. <laughs> 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 it's not big enough? You got it, nailed it. Woo! <laughs> yeah. 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 I feel like there's a lot of pressure here for no reason. Yeah, you have the biggest though. That's yeah. the oh, move. Wow. <laughs> I'm just uh, I'm trying to make a nice crust here. <laughs> I want to make sure it's not too thin. I can already feel that it's too thin in some places, though. I don't want to throw it. it don't throw like it. Don't throw it. I think it's going to break oh, if you yeah, throw it. It's, uh... Everyone threw it, dude. Everyone throw. Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now Trent is trying to redeem his pizza throw by making the only stuffed crust pizza here. And he's working hard at it. It might be, yeah. Look at that focus. Yeah. The Trent in his natural. We should start making the probably going to be little baby rocks inside this pizza. But I put a lot of love and energy into it too. All right, guys, let's get these pizzas cooked. Did you open? Did you? Epic fail. <laughs> uh, nice. Chin chin. Chin chin. chin, chin. This is our so first fun. pizza. Shrimp, Alfredo sauce, mozzarella cheese. <laughs> and that looks oh. delicious. One more slice, baby. We did it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so good. This oh. is so good. Uh -huh. mm. I don't want to keep it like wow. for a little bit. Yeah. I just think that's that, that mm. so good. Who made this? This is amazing. We made it. Crazy good. Good job, guys. Pizza number one is amazing. We want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to Trent and Alley if you haven't already. Subscribe to the Nomadic Movement as well. Yes. Everybody Everyone wanna say, say goodbye. goodbye. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.